Hey folks, in this video we're going to talk about rectangular patterns. It's a tool we can use to copy things in a line over and over and over again as many times as you want in two directions. Let's jump into it. We're going to start off with a sketch in our front view and rotate over there. I'm going to hit G for rectangle. I'm just going to draw a random rectangle. Let's make it three by two. Sure. Now, we can go in here and we can play with a shape. I don't know what we're going to use. Let's just do a circle here. We'll go in here and we're going to make that a half inch circle. And then we're going to dimension. And I want a whole bunch of these things. I want them to be separated by a half inch across the board here. So I'll do that. I'll put my dimensions in. And if I wanted to repeat this, I'd have to go in and make another circle. Either keep it on centers instead of equal and then set it up from the sides. It's a lot of work, and especially if I want to go up, it's even more work. I don't want to do that. Uh, so I'm going to hit escape and get out of there. And what I'm going to do is talk about linear patterns. What it's going to allow me to do is make a copy of the circle going left and right and or up and down. And I can choose how many I want. I can choose the spacing. I can get all of the things solved without having to do any extra work. So I'm going to go up to the tool here called linear pattern. When I click on it, nothing happens. My mouse doesn't change. There's no difference in anything that takes place. But when I go and click on a line, or a circle in this case, you'll see a whole bunch of stuff pops up. And it's important to pay attention to what exactly is popping up here. The first thing we're seeing is the distance between the centers of the circle, and then there's this 3x which tells how many copies we want. So maybe I want to change that over to a half inch. That's too much. So maybe we'll go back to 0.75, and we can see that we have relatively even spacing between those because we have a quarter inch on each side of it, which if we add that up is that half inch spacing we have here. The problem is we have more space over here, so we're going to add on instead of three, we'll change it to four. Now that brings it all the way over to the edge and we could play with this if we want it. Let's say point, uh, let's do five eighths. So that's fine. We'll get that. Um, but we also mentioned that we could do it going up. So we have this number one here. If we want to change that, let's say to three there, we also are presented with our change in size there. So I'm going to make that one five eighths as well. And maybe we're just going to do two of those just to make sure we have that. You can play with the dimension and the size and all that stuff. Not a big deal. And with these arrows, you are also able to angle them. So you can make diagonals or do whatever you want. I'm not going to jump into that right now. But when I hit my green check here, all I have to do is go to extrude. And I have that set. And now I have that piece extruded at one inch with all of the holes in there. Now, the nice thing about linear patterns is it's not only something that you do inside of our sketch mode. We can also do it in feature mode, the 3D one. So we have a current extrusion in Sketch, is what the requirement is. Then we can go up to the 3D version of linear pattern up here at the top. When I click on that, uh, it's going to ask me for the end of these, the pattern, the direction, the distance, and how many I want. There's also a whole bunch of other options. We can add or remove or do things. We'll get into all that. Let's click on this, and uh, it's going to ask us direction. So we'll click direction, and we need to choose one of the lines that we want it to follow. So I'm going to choose this direction for now. And we can see that the distance is one inch. Let's change that over to three. So now they're equally spaced, full block and another full block. And let's say we want three of those. So we can do that no problem. Uh, not a big deal, but we will notice one thing. We have it on new right now, which is making three different parts. Not necessarily something I want to do because they're the same exact parts. If I were to take this to an assembly or something, I only need one part and I can just copy it three times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Add tab here, and that's going to merge it all into one part. When I hit my green check, now I can go through, and I have it designed just like I want it. It has one, two, three, but it's showing up as one part. And I can always go back and double click on this and edit, and let's maybe I want it four. I can add on four, hit my green check, and now there's four of them. So this is linear pattern, both in the sketch mode and in the feature mode, and hopefully that will help you out in being able to create your things inside of Onshape with that tool. Thanks for joining me.